1927, Professor Thomas Parnell at the University of Queensland began what would become the world's longest-running laboratory experiment, designed to demonstrate that some substances that appear solid are actually highly viscous fluids. Parnell heated a sample of pitch, poured it into a sealed glass funnel, and allowed it three years to settle before cutting the stem in 1930, beginning the glacially slow process of the pitch flowing downward. Though pitch appears solid enough to shatter when struck with a hammer, it flows extremely slowly, with drops falling roughly once per decade. The first drop fell in December 1938, the second in February 1947, and the third in April 1954. Despite its longevity, no one has ever actually witnessed a drop falling. Not even the experiment's longtime custodian, Professor John Mainstone, who watched over it for 52 years until his death in 2013. Always just missing the moment by sheer bad luck. Today, the experiment continues under 24-hour webcam surveillance at the University of Queensland, with the ninth drop expected to fall sometime in the 2020s, having already provided valuable data showing that the pitch has a viscosity approximately 230 billion times that of water. With no end date in sight, the pitch drop experiment stands as a testament to scientific patience, having earned a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's longest-running laboratory experiment and offering a unique perspective on how our perception of time relates to the physical properties of materials.